What if I told you that for most of human history, people believed light had no speed at all? It just simply appeared instantly without traveling, without time. That idea persisted for centuries until one astronomer using nothing more than Jupiter's moon changed everything. In 1676, a Danish scientist named Ola Rahmer became the first person to measure the speed of light. He was not using lasers or complex instruments. He was watching eclipses of Io, one of Jupiter's moons. And by carefully recording his predictable cycles, he noticed something very strange. Jupiter's moon Io orbits its planet every 42.5 hours, passing into Jupiter's shadow like clockwork. Astronomers could predict these eclipses with remarkable accuracy. But Rummer noticed an odd pattern. When Earth was close to Jupiter, Io's eclipses seemed to happen a few minutes early. When Earth was farther away from Jupiter, the eclipses appeared a few minutes late. At first it seemed like a miscalculation, but as months passed, the delays kept occurring, always in sync with Earth's position in orbit. Something wasn't wrong with Io. Something was affecting the light itself. If light traveled instantaneously, the timing of Io's eclipses should never change, no matter where Earth was in orbit. But the fact that they appeared earlier or later meant that light was actually taking time to travel. Romer realized he was witnessing the first proof that light had a finite speed. The reason? As Earth moved away from Jupiter, light from Io had to travel farther, creating a delay. When Earth moved closer, the light had less distance to cover, making the eclipses appear sooner. And by carefully tracking these shifts, Romer calculated that light took about 22 minutes to cross Earth's orbital diameter, roughly 186 million miles, 299 million kilometers. Romer's estimate was a breakthrough. But how do we turn that into miles per second? Well, if light takes 22 minutes to cross 186 million miles, 299 million kilometers, that means it covers about 137,000 miles or 220,000 kilometers per second. That is 27% slower than the modern accepted value of 186, 282 miles per second. And that's 299, 792 kilometers per second. But for 1676, this was insanely close as far as an approximation goes. So his work was later refined by Christian Hogans, who took Rama's time delay and improved the calculation, pushing us closer to the actual number. At the time, not everybody accepted his findings. Some astronomers resisted the idea that light had speed at all. But over the next few decades... Romer's discovery was proven again and again. In 1728, James Bradley refined the speed of light by studying stellar aberration. In 1849, Hippolyte Fizeau used a rotating mirror to get even more precise measurement. And today, we measure the speed of light using lasers and atomic clocks. But it all started with a very simple observation of Jupiter's moon. The next time that you flip on a light switch, think about this. That light took a fraction of a second to reach your eyes. But it took centuries of human curiosity to measure exactly how fast it got there. These are interesting things with J.C.